Hi, in this video I'm going to be looking at removing the service layers credit from a base map in ArcGIS. Whenever you uh, make a map, and I'm just going to start with a without a blank with a with a template, it brings in a base map, and that base map is associated with um, different data layers that um, ESRI and ArcGIS.com has um, put together, uh, and uh, ha and displays it for you, streams it to you, so you can see it on your in your desktop map and so whenever you see when I add this in it automatically comes in as world topographic map and if you're ever wondering about this the where these data layers come from you can click here and you get an idea of the service layer credits so this is saying that these base maps are coming from Esri USGS um, Esri again Garmin uh, FAO NOAA and EPA and this is my problem with the service layers credits that a lot of times they have things that don't make sense like repeating Esri um, two times. Um, also, if you go through and you try different base maps out, like for example, if I go with, uh, let's say the community map, it changes out the base map to this one. If I look at its service layers credits, um, well actually this one's not so bad. Well, let's try a different one out. Um, here, let's go with uh, imagery hybrid, uh, a lot of data there. And so if I go to the image layer credits here, it starts becoming a little bit more um, complex with, with more information there. And you'll see what I mean if we kind of zoom in to an area. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom in here onto um, Austin, Texas. So here I am at Austin. If I click here, the service layers credit starts getting a lot more complex with uh, different uh, places, uh, the Austin Community College, Texas Parks and Wildlife. Uh, EPA, National Park Services. So anyways, um, it, it's really kind of a, a pretty cool s service that's being offered here. Um, ESRI is bringing in all these different data layers together and um, showing them to you. The only problem is that whenever you go in and you make a map and you start wanting to actually export this map out to, um, to uh, share it with someone as a PDF or something, um, whenever I make this map in a map layout, it's going to automatically add in this text at the bottom, which you can see over here. And it's kind of becomes a little bit obnoxious sometimes. You can see here, it doesn't uh, overlay very w nicely with the map itself. And sometimes it's uh, too long. Another time is uh, other times whenever you're trying to make a, um, a smaller uh, frame, you also get an issue where um, the service layer credit actually ends up taking up so much of your map. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. You can see how it's taking up like a good 15, 20% of your map. And so one thing that you can do to get rid of the service layers credit is um, by inserting dynamic text, you can actually take a little bit of control on what's happening with your service layers credit. And so um, what I like to do is I like to insert in a dynamic text. And then, and so if I click here on dynamic text, I can look down through this menu and I choose service layers credits. That allows me to draw a box where those service layers come off the map and go into the box itself. And so now you can see here, the map doesn't have a service layers credit. This box has it. Now the idea with having this box is that then you can put it on a map somewhere. So that way it, you control how it's being displayed on there. What I like to do, honestly, is I feel that this is kind of overkill on amount of citations. Uh, for something and so if I want to give credit to the base map then what I'll do is I'll add in a um, Text just normal text. I won't do dynamic text. So I would say add element. No, sorry um, Here this text box Rectangle text I click on the rectangle text. I draw my own Rectangle text here and then what I do instead is I say arc gis.com and the reason why I'm doing that, and I think there's some precedent here. Oh, I'm sorry, my zoom is going a little bit crazy. Um, here, let me just zoom to this layer. Okay, well, ArcGIS Pro is freaking out on me. <laughs> And so if I look here at the text itself and I say ArcGIS.com, for example, um, what I'm trying to do here is I just want to say, uh, like whenever the rationale I use is that whenever you're like citing a paper, for example, um, you don't cite all the 
the people who, who the paper cites. You only cite the paper itself. Um, and people can go, the person can go and follow that um, place to actually go and get the, you know, the, the actual sources of the, of the thing. So whenever I'm saying I got it from rjets.com, I'm saying I'm using the Esri base map, then people can actually go there and actually check it out themselves. And so that's that's what I like to, to do is just to go through and actually just say rjets.com. Um, another thing I like to do for the um, text itself is I like to um, change its appearance to uh, have it be uh, white. Um, so let me see if I can change this and this, if it's going to work. Um, it's not letting me do it, but um, yes. Okay, there it goes. Great. And so um, anyways, as I make this map, it's great. And I can go ahead and I can say I'm happy with it and export it. What's nice is that when I export it, um, that PDF now, it's going to only say rts.com. And the reason why it's only saying that is because, again, my service layer credit, I put it out on the side here. If I try to delete this, it's going to come back. You see, so actually it's going to end up causing me a problem if I hit delete. You'll see here it goes right back over there. So you need to actually say dynamic text and service layer credits. And whenever you do that, you have to draw it off the page. But whenever I say export this as a PDF, um, that then will not um, will not actually uh, go to um, that, that will not draw this part. It'll only draw the part that's on the map itself. So that's that's the trick to use um, whenever you're whenever you're doing this. I'm gonna copy this and then export. And so now that's exporting out. And so if I go here to where it exported it, you can see here the exported map itself only has rjs.com on it. So that's, that's the kind of trick you want to do um, in order to get rid of that service layer credit.